Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I want to talk to you about Sony's new announcements at IFA 2014. Now, they announced a lot of devices. I'm not going to be able to cover them all in this video. And also, if you're looking for specifications, I'm not going to cover those in this video either. You can get those on lots of other videos or off of the Sony website. I want to offer up my opinion on what they announced. Now, some of the products I'm not going to cover in this video is the new Walkmans they announced, they announced new headphones, they announced new amplifier, they even announced new lenses, these uh, sort of camera lenses that actually record when they're snapped onto your smartphone. I'm not going to cover those in this video. What I want to concentrate on is their new mobile devices. And they announced the Z3 and the Z3 Compact. Now, I've covered the Xperia Z range of smartphones before on the channel. And for the most part, I really like them. I love the Z2, for example. I like the fact that they've kept the waterproof feature and I also like the fact that it looks a little bit more smooth and more curved, maybe a little bit more comfortable to hold. Not a lot of changes with regards to the design but it does look a little bit softer. What I didn't like with the previous Xperia lineup was all the flaps where you had to open flaps to charge and then reseal it. I didn't like that so I think that that's uh, still there on these new models. What they have done is they've increased the amount of RAM on the Z3. They also quote in this uh, two day battery life. Now I'm not sure if they're relying on the stamina mode that was available in their previous generations of the Z range, uh, but certainly a two day battery life is very, very good indeed. We've still got this tri-luminous display, really nice display. As far as I can remember from the spec list, it's the same sort of resolution as the previous generation. It's certainly faster, and the thing that I liked about the Sony Xperia Z range before, when I've actually had one in my hands, is the build quality. So as long as they've kept that standard of build quality in the new Z3, then I think they've got a really nice device uh, to launch to the world. I think it's a really good proposition if you're looking for a, a really nice quality smartphone. Now the Z3 Compact is uh, pretty much the same, except in a smaller device. And it doesn't look like they've cut down too many of the features on the Z3 Compacts. They've done a good job on that as well. Now, they also announced the Sony Smartwatch 3. Now, previously with their smartwatches, they used their own operating system. And it wasn't that fantastic. I must admit, it was a little bit clunky. The user interface wasn't great. But with the Smartwatch 3, they've done a really nice design. And they've adopted Android Wear. So it works with any Google Android device and it's got the familiar Google Android Wear or Android uh, operating system on it. Integrates nicely with your smartphone but it does rely on that connectivity between the device and the smartwatch. So do bear that in mind. The design was really nice though and you can pop the sort of watch face out of the strap and pop it into different straps. A nice sort of closure or clasp me mechanism on it as well. Uh, primarily silicon straps but it looked like a really nice device. So it's nice to see Sony adopting Android Wear and releasing something that's not too clunky. You know, it look, looks like a very robust sort of device. And then last but not least, I've saved my favorite announcement from them until last, and that is the Z3 Tablet Compact. Now, if you've seen the Sony Z2 Tablet, then think of this as a smaller version of that. Eight inch display, 1920 by 1200 resolution, should create a really nice crisp display. Still not quite as good a resolution as something from Apple, but a nice display nonetheless. Uh, waterproof, great battery, looks absolutely amazing. I really did like the look of it. Now, instead of having glass on the front and on the back, we've got obviously a glass touch screen on the front. The back is like a rubberized finish or a soft touch finish, I should say. Uh, available in black and white, and the biggest feature with this and the other Sony devices is that it allows you to do remote play from your Sony PS4. So a very, very big thing when it comes to looking at the whole ecosystem. So if you own a Sony PS4 and you want that extra functionality, then instead of buying a device from another manufacturer, maybe you're gonna be tempted to buy one of the Sony devices, either the Z3 or the Z3 Compact to get this remote play feature. A very, very nice lineup from Sony this year. I'm looking forward to getting some of them into the studio to test as well. 
let me know what you think of what Sony announced, either the devices that I've talked about or some of those other devices that they announced as well at EFA 2014. Leave me some comments and let me know what you're going to be possibly purchasing from Sony this year. I'll be really interested to see that and to discuss that with you in the comments section. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.